Hello everyone, welcome to one of the oldest and most remarkable cities in the world, the old city of Sana'a in Yemen. This city is a true wonder, with thousands of years of history, unique architecture, and a rich cultural heritage that you can feel in every corner. It's a city that has inspired travelers, historians, and artists alike, and it stands as a living symbol of Yemen's ancient past and vibrant present. The old city of Sana'a is one of the oldest continuously inhabited cities in the world, believed to be over 2,500 years old. Imagine a place where generations upon generations have walked the same streets, where ancient kings and merchants once passed through on their way across the Arabian Peninsula. For centuries, Sana'a was a major hub on the ancient trade routes, connecting Arabia to Africa, Asia, and Europe. It was known for its bustling markets, where spices, incense, and other goods were exchanged. In a way, it was a place where the world came together, and even today, it's easy to see why Sana'a has remained a key cultural and historical landmark. One of the first things that will capture your attention in the old city of Sana'a is its breathtaking architecture. The buildings here are unique, tall, narrow structures that reach several stories high and are built with sun-dried mud bricks and stone. The walls of these buildings are thick, designed to keep the interiors cool in the hot desert climate. But these aren't just ordinary buildings, they're decorated with intricate white patterns and designs that look like lace. These white designs, made from gypsum, stand out against the earthy tones of the bricks, creating a stunning contrast. This style of architecture has become an iconic symbol of Yemeni culture, and it's what gives Sana'a its nickname, the Manhattan of the Desert. Each building in the old city has its own character, with decorative elements that are both beautiful and functional. The windows, for instance, are often framed with intricate white designs, and the upper stories are typically decorated with stained glass, which adds color and light to the rooms inside. When the sunlight shines through these stained glass windows, it creates a magical effect, filling the rooms with vibrant colors. This attention to detail reflects the skill and creativity of the people who built these homes centuries ago. One of the unique features of these buildings is their structure. Each floor serves a different purpose. The lower levels are often used for storage and keeping livestock, while the middle floors are the main living spaces for families. The top floor, known as the Mafraj, is a special room where people gather to relax, drink tea, and enjoy the view of the city. The Mafraj is often the most beautifully decorated part of the house, with cushions, carpets, and windows that offer a panoramic view of the city. It's a place for family and friends to come together, to talk, and to celebrate special occasions. This layout reflects the traditional lifestyle of the people in Sana'a and shows how architecture is deeply connected to daily life. Another highlight of the old city is the Great Mosque of Sana'a, one of the oldest mosques in the world. Built in the 7th century, this mosque holds a special place in the hearts of the people of Sana'a. It is a masterpiece of early Islamic architecture, with large open spaces, beautiful arches, and intricate designs that show the artistic skill of its builders. Over the centuries, the Great Mosque has been a place of worship, learning, and community gathering. It's a reminder of the city's long-standing religious and cultural importance, and its presence in the old city is a testament to the deep spiritual heritage of the Yemeni people. As you walk through the narrow, winding streets of the old city, you'll discover a series of vibrant markets, or, souks. These markets are the heart and soul of the city, where people come together to trade, socialize, and celebrate their culture. The souks are filled with all kinds of goods, spices, textiles, jewelry, pottery, and much more. The air is filled with the rich smells of spices and incense, and the colorful displays of fabrics, carpets, and handmade crafts add to the lively atmosphere. Each souk specializes in different products, from gold and silver jewelry to traditional Yemeni clothing. These markets have existed for centuries, and they're a vital part of the community's daily life. Here, you can experience the energy and excitement of Yemeni culture firsthand, as people bargain, laugh, and share stories. 
The people of Sana'a are known for their warmth and hospitality. They take great pride in their traditions and are always eager to share their culture with visitors. Hospitality is an important part of Yemeni life, and it's common for visitors to be invited into people's homes to share a meal or a cup of tea. In the old city, time seems to move at a slower pace, allowing people to focus on connections and relationships. This sense of community is one of the most beautiful aspects of Sana'a, and it's something that visitors often carry with them long after they leave. Beyond its architecture and bustling markets, the old city of Sana'a is also a place of tradition and celebration. Throughout the year, the city hosts various festivals and gatherings, where people come together to celebrate their heritage. Weddings in Sana'a, for example, are grand and joyful occasions, filled with music, dancing, and traditional Yemeni attire. During these celebrations, the streets come alive with colors and sounds, and people of all ages join in the festivities. These traditions have been passed down through generations, and they're a way for the people of Sana'a to honor their ancestors and keep their culture alive. In recognition of its cultural and historical significance, the old city of Sana'a has been designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This status helps protect the city and bring attention to its importance as a cultural treasure. Unfortunately, the old city has faced many challenges in recent years, from conflicts to environmental threats. Despite these difficulties, the people of Sana'a have shown incredible resilience. They are committed to preserving their heritage and maintaining the beauty of their city. In a way, the old city of Sana'a is a symbol of strength and endurance, a place where the past and present come together to create something truly unique. The old city of Sana'a is a place where history lives on. It's a city that reminds us of the beauty of tradition, the importance of family, and the joy of community. In a world that often feels rushed and disconnected, Sana'a offers a reminder of the value of slowing down, connecting with others, and cherishing our roots. Through its architecture, its festivals, and its people, Sana'a shows us that culture and heritage are worth preserving, even in the face of challenges. So, what can we learn from the old city of Sana'a? We learn the importance of resilience, of honoring the skills and traditions passed down through generations. We learn the beauty of simplicity, the power of art, and the joy of a close-knit community. Sana'a teaches us to value the things that truly matter, to cherish our connections with one another, to respect our history, and to celebrate the beauty that can be found in everyday life. In closing, the old city of Sana'a is more than just a historical site, it's a living example of the creativity, resilience, and beauty of the people of Yemen. It's a place that inspires us to appreciate the value of heritage, to celebrate the beauty of architecture and craftsmanship, and to cherish the connections that make a community strong. Sana'a teaches us that even in challenging times, the human spirit endures, and the love for one's culture and traditions can light the way forward. Thank you.